Hey everyone, welcome back to Makeup Skin. Today I'm super, super excited because this arrived all the way from Huda Beauty in Dubai. It is the All Over Highlighting Powder, Universal in Shade, and it has buildable application. I have these highlighters from Huda Beauty, so we'll be swatching these and getting to see what the difference is. Let's go ahead and open up the Huda Beauty. This is huge guys, I just want you to note the packaging states that there is 30 grams of this product. I think we need to compare the size, so the size of the box of the highlighter palette that she already has, it's the same size. Let's open up. So it's the Nymph or N-Y-M-P-H. So I personally think it's Nymphs. It's for face and body. Look at it. Oh, it's just wow. Okay. Here we go. It is a rose design. I haven't swatched this yet. I wanted to wait for you guys. So you do get a mirror as well. I have just swatched it for you. Let's get it on the cheeks. Wow. Well, it's definitely there. I think it's absolutely stunning. What do you guys think? So I've just dabbed it like this and I'm putting as much as possible onto it so that you guys can see. That is really, really nice. I can't get over how huge this is. It's called Flora and it's all over. So I haven't got my collarbones out but yes absolutely feels great let's do some comparisons so there's nothing on the back of my hand let's swatch the new one with a Dior luminizer I absolutely love this I wear it in a lot of my videos so you can see the Huda one at the bottom is a lot more rose gold and the Dior is a lot more lighter. Then I've got the Dior Backstage. I'm going to show you the gold colour. There again, the Huda is the deeper shade of the three. Now let's use the Huda 3D Highlight Palette and we're going to use Seychelles. So Seychelles is more golden. Zanzibar. Tahiti. 
Fiji. The new one, Zanzibar, Tahiti and Fiji. So Huda has done a good job of making them different. So that is one thing I will say. Let's check out her other palette. So I'm going to go ahead and try the 3D highlighter palette in the Bronze Sands edition. The new highlighter. Then there's Maldives at the top. Bora Bora at the top now. Aruba at the bottom. And then Barbados at the top. So I can confirm that this highlighter is completely different to what I have seen from her two palettes and some Dior. My first impression of this Huda Beauty is that it is a fantastic highlighter. It's so unique to the colours that I have. It's not a dupe at the moment for anything. And I have to say, it's not the same as the colours in the actual Huda Beauty 3D palettes that I have of hers. So guys, I have to admit, I don't have any colours like this in my highlighter collection. I have shown you from Dior to all of the Huda Beauty ones that I actually have. Totally love the design. I can't wait to try it on perhaps my decolletage and my, and my collarbone perhaps. I absolutely love this and my first impression is that it is a thumbs up from me. Tag me if you try this. Let me know if you like it. I think it will be really nice addition to summer highlighters. Oh, that's really nice. Wow. So for those of you who'd like to know what I have on my skin, I have my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I have my Gucci Bronzer. This is a Natasha Denona look that I have been playing with from the Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. On my lashes, I have a Primer and Pat McGrath's new mascara, the Dark Star Mascara. This was a really quick video because this just arrived and I wanted to get the first impression up for you. I will use this for the rest of the week and check back with you on Instagram, take some pictures for you. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and I shall see you in the next one.